Hi there guys, it's me, Invert Tutorials, and today I have another care video. Now, you may be wondering what is in this small takeaway box. And the answer is it's not edible. Sadly. So, let's have a look. So if we just have a look in there. There we are. Right, so you may recognise this as a Daemon Diadema. <coughs> or Tanzanian Tailless Whip Scorpion. So, this one obviously isn't very big. Uh, it's really, there's my finger next to it for scale. It isn't very big at all. It's probably about the size of my thumb. Just the nail at the end in terms of length. Width is about half that, half that. And then obviously it has its tweezers. Now they like climbing, so I've, I keep this box on its side. Um, at the bottom I've just got... It doesn't spend any time on the ground anyway. Um, so I've just got uh, tissue paper or, well, kitchen roll, whatever. And... For it to climb on, I mean, this has got plenty of surfaces, so if it wants to molt, it won't it sort of inhibit the molting. Uh, it's just nailed down at the back to make sure that if when I pick this up, it doesn't roll around and hurt, in, potentially injure the whip scorpion. Um, this is suitable because they like to climb, but just make sure that if you get something, you do not get something like a fornarium or a cricket keeper or whatever because they can fit through the gaps in the side which is really important because obviously if one of these gets loose you'll never find it again and yeah I mean it's quite shy but if I take it round there no you can't really see anything um, I keep it really quite quite moist just a little bit more than it should be because I think it's going to molt shortly. But um, in ter this should do, obviously, increase the size so that the adult has a, at least enough room to molt, leave the skin, sit there, and then go down here. Um, <clears throat> and also a surface where it can hide and feel secure. For me, that's the back here. Uh, you can just see that. Um, but... Basically, you need reasonably high humidity, something for it to climb on with enough space to molt. Um, so a moisture retaining substrate, in this case just tissue paper or toilet roll, and hiding places, and a good misting every few days. Right. Also, for this species, in particular this one, because it isn't that big. I feed it bean weevils. Now I've never actually seen it hunt, uh, but obviously it's nocturnal and it lives in caves normally, so it's difficult to say the least to watch it hunt, but its abdomen is fat, nice and fat, so it's not a problem. And this way I can easily just pull it, take this off gently and change the bottom. You need to make sure no mould develops obviously because of this. And if you're keeping it in one of these, I mean, it's difficult to take this off, but you need obviously ventilation. Uh, so I, I mean, these holes do, do all right, but I can make sure I take this off for a few minutes, five minutes, twice a day, and let some new air circulate through this, uh, through this container. Well, that's basically it for the care of Damon Diadema. Obviously increase the prey size as it gets bigger, but they are really delicate, so don't do something like put a massive cricket in because the cricket could potentially feed on the <coughs> on the whip scorpion, which isn't really very desirable. They are really interesting to keep and I do find them quite really interesting to watch. Like they do things like uh, scoop up these water droplets here uh, with their small pincers that I can't remember the name of <coughs> just pedipalps really and they scoop them off 
also, the reason they are so skittish is, I don't know if you can see there, but those things there, I mean, they look like antennae on other insects or arachnids, but they, <coughs> I say other insects, they're not an insect, they're an arachnid, but they're actually a modified third pair of legs, which basically feel around the environment because they live in caves. That's just my battery notification, ignore that. And <clears throat> um, so make sure you don't touch these if they're on your hand or whatever because you could end up with them on your face. And also when unboxing them, I recommend doing it in the bath because they can't climb up the side of baths. But put the plug in because that's the last thing you want. Well, so that's basically it for whip scorpion care. <clears throat> And you can see the really simple but effective setup that allows me to monitor things like waste. I only changed this yesterday anyway. I should have really done the video then. But they are really interesting to watch. Really relatively easy to keep. And you can keep several of them. I mean I plan to move them into a fauna, into a large exoterra not large but larger exoterra glass tank, but for now this should do and it is a it's a nice size and it allows me to uh, check up on them with this open front without disturbing okay then like I said before thanks for watching don't forget to uh, leave your opinion and preferably subscribe because obviously more of this could uh, be uploaded daily with more subscribers and more views Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.